You hear that? Andre! 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 That's a bear. That's a bear, man. My name is Cyril Choquet. I'm surrounded by bull sharks. And I travel the world chasing monster fish. Oh. That's why I'm in northern Canada, where I've heard stories about First Nation fishermen whose lines have been broken and their nets ripped by humongous fish. That's unbelievable. He broke the braided line. There's definitely monsters in this water. These fish are so big and powerful, they're said to be impossible to catch. I want to see just how big they can get, and if I can catch one. The problem is that the land here is so vast, remote, and wild that finding them can be dangerous. There have been outsiders that have been attacked by bears, even killed by bears. Some people have been killed? Really? It's a giant, huh? Oh, man, this thing is humongous. That's a monster. Look at the size of that thing. I'm heading deep into the land of the Innu and Nascapi First Nations, way up in the Canadian North. A territory so huge that the only way to get from one spot to another is by helicopter or float plane. Somewhere in the thousands of lakes and rivers lives enormous fish, true monsters. My first stop is to meet David, an elder from the Nascapi First Nation, who has come close to this big fish before. David, how big of a fish are we talking about? Those monster fish, how big can they? Wow. The big ones you cannot catch? No, no, no. Really? Net. The net, break, break the nets. Yeah, break it. Tear, tear the nets. Yeah, break it. What David is telling me sounds exactly like other stories I've heard about these monster fish. Yeah, we don't know. The fish is smart? Yeah. Do you think I can catch it? <laughs> <laughs> That's not a good sign. <laughs> These stories of massive fish that tear nets and break lines can only point towards one suspect, Lake Char, also known as Lakers. These are giant fish that can grow to 100 pounds. But finding one of these giants in such a vast expanse of water is not going to be easy. David told me about a good spot on a river where he used to fish, a few hours hike into the bush. Black bears are some of the most dangerous predators in North America. If they feel provoked, they can attack. <laughs> We're in the summer. <laughs> There's snow left. That gives you an idea how far north we are. That's crazy. That's crazy. But it's a good thing, because uh, Lake Char, like cold water. I finally get to the river that David told me about. There should be some fish in these rapids, but the Lakers I'm after are not going to be found in the water this fast. Wow. Impressive. But I got to get down to the bottom of these rapids because I'm pretty sure that down there, there'll be a big deep pool 
where predator fish will be hiding, waiting for food to be washed down the river by the current. But it's a waste. Black bear attacks are rare, but you still gotta keep an eye out. I keep walking for about an hour, and finally make it to the base of the rapids. Cut me off. Unbelievable. He broke the line, the braided line. Whatever did that must have some sharp teeth. But now I've got a metal eater. Yep, fish up. It's a pike. What did I tell you? I knew there'd be predators down here. Nice pike. It's not the right kind of predators yet. Look at the fangs right here. I don't know if you can see them. They have about 700 teeth. So let me tell you, if you're a prey and you get grabbed by this, there's no way out. No. Oh. Another pike. Talk about predators here. <laughs> There's a few of them. And a few predators that are eating me up right now. Mosquitoes and black flies. I'm getting devoured. Oh. Woo! <laughs> yeah. I keep casting. Yep, pike again. And I keep catching. But they're just pike here. Not a single laker. I don't think I'm gonna catch a monster laker from the shore here. I wouldn't need a boat. Tomorrow, I'm off to a lake known for its massive char. And there, I will have a boat. Communities here can be hundreds of miles apart, and there are no roads. So to get around, I have to take to the skies. The territory is so vast, and there's so much water, so many lakes and rivers, that for sure somewhere in the depths, monsters are lurking. We've flown 150 miles north to an area on Escapi land that looks promising. But first, I need to ask permission to fish in these waters. You must be Noah. You must be Cheryl. How are you doing? Good. And good to meet you. Welcome. Yeah. The chief in person. <laughs> So yeah. this is where you guys hang out, huh? This is where you hunt. Yeah, this is paradise here. Yeah. There's lots of caribou. Yeah. And it's also known for uh, big fish. Big fish, that's <laughs> you. That's why I'm here. I heard, I did my research. What kind of safety gear do you have? I mean, gear for survival. I have GPS, satellite phone, and um, that's it. Do you have a rifle? Do you have a no, bear no, spray? Yeah, no, 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 no. So there, are, there have been outsiders that have been in, in attacked by bears, even killed by bears. Some people have been killed? Really? Yeah, there have been incidents in the past, but never with First Nations people. To show me just how dangerous they can be, Noah's got something to show me. The bear and it actually destroyed it. What do you mean, it destroyed it? They bit through this? Bit through this, uh, ripped out the, the, the chair, totally destroyed. Wow. Are they? Okay, serious stuff. I have no intention of shooting a bear. But in case I get charged, no insists I take his brother's rifle. Safety. But first, he wants me to take a practice shot. You missed it. Well, I guess you don't even want to think about what would happen after you miss the charging bear. Thank you. I hope I see you again. <laughs> Noah lent me his boat, but once again, 
Finding a monster in such a vast lake is no easy task. And it's a great feeling being on my own in a boat in the middle of this vastness. But that's it, that's a challenge, you know, finding the fish in such a big body of water. It's gonna be tough, it's a real challenge. It's like fishing the ocean, it's so big. Plus I can't go too fast, you know, because I don't want to hit a boulder. There could be big rocks in the middle of the lake, just underneath the surface. So I gotta keep an eye out. Instead of fishing this lake, I'll focus on some rapids Noah told me about. But first, I gotta cross this lake. The wind has picked up quite a bit. It's getting hard moving around on the lake. Plus with the waves, it's even harder to see the rocks. Wow, see that's exactly what I'm talking about. See that rock right here? Those rocks, they stick out of the, of the lake in the middle of nowhere. This is surrounded by deep water and you don't see it, you can't see it. it freaks me out, you know. If it was calm, I could, I could just see a little bit of the rock sticking out, but with the waves, you can't see it. It's super dangerous. Man, I almost hit it. Got to go super easy. I finally get to the other side. But now, I have to hike to the rapids. Wolves. It's a wolf pack. I get to the rapids, but first, I have to check for dangerous animals. No, I don't see any bears on there. Still gonna check with the, the scope to get a better look. It's a lot of brush, very few little trees. But again, it's not because uh, it's not because I don't see them that they're not there. I've been in this region before, and I'm telling you, like this one time I was fishing right next to a river like this one, and this massive bear came out of a bush, you know, like bush like this, you know, very tiny bush. You know, you would have never known that a bear could hide in there. And all of a sudden, this massive bear comes out, freaked us out. It didn't attack us, but it was close call. I'm clear for now. If I do get charged, I'm hoping that a shot in the air would be enough to scare it off. Yep. Feisty Laker. Oh. Nice Laker. Ah, beautiful Lake Char. Splendid animal. I love him. And you can tell this fish has, uh, has worked out quite a bit. You know, it's a, it's a river fish. It's used to fighting against the current. That's why it's slender as opposed to being fat. And now, I just need to catch a monster one. I move a couple hundred yards down the rapids to a deeper pool. It's a little maker. It's incredible. I put a big spoon on him so I could catch a monster fish. And yet the little ones attack it as if it was nothing. Oh, fish on. It's another little one. There's so many Lakers here, they're fighting for my spoon. The only problem is that they're far from the legendary monster fish I've been hearing about. There's tons of fish here, just nothing of any real size. Nothing that can uh, rip a net or break a line, that's for sure. 
Well, I knew there are monster lakers here on Escapi land. I just haven't been able to catch one yet. There's so much water here. It'd take me forever to find it. But I have a plan. I'm flying to Inu territory to see my old friend Andre. A few years ago, we caught some nice Lakers on the ice together. The Inu have been catching these fish for generations. And with his help, I think we can get the big one. Hey, Andre. How are you? How are you? Hey, it makes pleasure to see you. I'm present to Conrad. Conrad? Bonjour. Salut, Cyril. And another Andre. Another Andre. I'm happy to be back in the summer. But the bugs are insane. And that's not the only challenge. Low and haut, aussi, eh? Low and haut? Mm hmm. Yeah, I've seen that in the avion. It's not good, that, no? Mm hmm. It's not too. It's not too bad. But we're going to try to get rain on the world. Looks like we're going to get rained on. So we get to work fast, building our camp. Let's take a turn in a minute. Unbelievable. These guys can build a tent in 10 minutes. In 10 minutes, you have a roof over your head. How quiet. It's sorry we're not here, as you know it. Oh, yeah. The was all set. Before we can head out to fish, I have to get my rods ready. C'est ça que t'as amené? Ouais. C'est petit, pas mal. Les petits? Il y a des monstres ici, là. Je sais pas si ça va être assez solide. Oh, je comprends ce que je veux faire. Tu veux les attacher ensemble? <laughs> no, for sure, this rod can handle a big fish. I've caught really big fish with this rod and reel. The, the idea, and I told you that already, but a big fish, even a 70 pound fish, he doesn't actually weigh 70 pounds. The fish weighs 70 pounds, but it's supported by water. Once it's in the water, you're not pulling on a dead weight. If you're using a good reel, good rod, and good line, you, it's just a matter of playing the fish right, letting it go when he wants to go and then pulling when it's, uh, it stops going. It's just, uh, just playing it right, but this can handle a big fish. Hopefully a monster. Un arbre mort. Ouais. To catch a huge laker, Andre gets to work on a traditional ray. In certain regions of Canada, like here, only First Nations people can use natural bait, traps, or nets. I'd love to help them out, but I can't do anything. You know, I, I'm not allowed to touch anything that is a traditional First Nations fishing technique. I can't. It's just illegal. Okay, so I understand. He's gonna use that as the floater. That's gonna stay on top of the surface, keeping the line down from there, suspended in the water. And he's leaving a couple branches there so he can see it from a distance. <laughs> That's his bobber, basically. Yeah, okay. Bien fait, ça. C'est propre? Ouais, c'est propre, là. J'ai pas le droit de le toucher. Here we go again. Non-stop. Rain. Sun, rain, sun, rain, sun. Crazy. C'est mieux de même. Ouais, dans quel sens? Si ce serait nous autres qui contrôlaient, là, je l'entends, les arbres seraient morts. C'est vrai, c'est un bon point, ça. He's right about that. Yeah, I never thought about it. You know, if it was up to us, you know, we'd always choose sun, sun, sun every day and never any rain, and the nature would suffer from it. You know, it's stuff that you don't think about, you know, but they think about that kind of stuff. They live with nature all the time. It really starts to come down. 
but Andre is on a mission to finish his masterfish rig. Ça, ça joue le rôle de plomb. Boom. Après, tu l'attaches à la, à, à la branche. Ouais, après ça, je remets pour attacher la... La part De la branche. De la branche. OK. It's really deep. It's there around 50 feet. Easily 50 feet. Wait for the rain to stop so Andre can finish setting up his rig. Floating on the surface, the tree will keep the bait off the bottom. And if there's a bite, we'll see it move. We use a whole four pound whitefish as bait. But traditionally, they'd use even bigger ones. We could use a bait if he had a a big bait, we could use a bait this big for a big monster lake trail. This big. Imagine the size of the mouth of the fish. We're going to leave this trap for now and head out to a spot where the guys have come across monster lakers before. This body of water is endless. And with limited time, we have to focus on the spots they know. The size of the lakes here, unbelievable. Water as far as the eye can see. And fish are not everywhere, they're in certain spots. So one of the most effective ways to find them is to do what we're doing right now. We're covering a lot of ground by trolling, which means that we're slowly moving forward with the boat, dragging some lures behind the boat at slow speed until one of them gets attacked by a predator. And then when that happens, most likely there'll be more than one in the same spot. So then we can stop the boat and fish hard until we get a, a monster bite. It's a laker. Doesn't doesn't feel like a big fish, but I hope it's a laker. Is it a pike or a laker? Oh yeah, it's a laker. We're going in the right direction. Right species. Just not the right size yet. All right, Lake Char, the biggest of the Char family. They get up to 100 pounds, imagine. That's a baby. All right, buddy, go get your mama. Yes, les gars. C'est beau. La bonne espèce. Ouais. C'est juste que pas tout à fait la bonne taille. Ouais, ouais. <laughs> The guys want to move to another spot. And on the way, they check a net that they had set up just before I got here. Now you know, you know, you know. They use nets to catch whitefish, a good eating fish that they bring back to the elders of the community. And sometimes they get big lakers too. There's no weight, huh? no de... resistance in the filet. Hein? No monster laker yet, but they're whitefish. No, it's a caragon. Ah, it's a caragon, yeah. Wow, the size of this trout. It's a big mousse. It's big, huh? Yeah, it's big. Wow. Look at the size of that speckled trout. Unreal. Cat leaf. Cat leaf, huh? That's a real cat leaf. After me, yes, it's you. If I take it, I'll tell you it's a 5 leaf. I'm a fisherman. Andre pulls in the rest of the net and a few more whitefish. 
Ah. C'est vrai Non, c'est pas un poisson qui est ah, oui, C'était poisson... déjà là, non C'était pas brisé, ça Non Non. Look at the size of that hole. That's unbelievable. They're pretty strong nets, you know, like look at the mesh. That's 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 some serious rope. Look at that. I could fit through it. Donc ça c'est une grosse grise. Une énorme grise. Ah ouais. Ça doit être gros. Ça doit être gros là. Pour briser ça, c'est clair. Ça lève. Ça c'est pas des blagues, hein? Non, c'est pas des blagues. The only fish big and powerful enough to rip a hole that big would be one of those legendary monster lakers. And there's got to be more than one around. Lightning coming close. It looks like we can't fish for much longer. Oh, oh, here we go. It's a laker. Oh no, it's a landlocked salmon. Okay, good, good. That's a landlocked, landlocked salmon. Nice, beautiful fish. Wow, beautiful animal. A landlocked salmon. It's the same, it's pretty much the same fish as an Atlantic salmon, except that this one doesn't migrate back to the ocean. It stays in freshwater. Oh, strong fish, too. Yes. C'est pas ce qu'on voulait, mais bon. Ouais. Toujours cool de prendre la poisson, non? Ouais. The skies have cleared up. We keep fishing, but we got a long way back to the camp before dark. We caught a couple of nice fish today, but far from the huge lake I'm after. And tomorrow is my last day on this lake. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? All right. All right. Janos. Janos. That's a bear. That's a bear, man. Andre. Andre, Janos. Oh, there, there, right there, right there. Attracted by the smell of fish on their rods. We're here. Check out what he did to the rod. He chewed up on it. It's all chewed up. Man, that was a close call. I think I'm gonna bring the rods inside the tent. Guys, yeah, you got moves, no? Hey, guys, hier soir, il y a il y a un ours qui a pris ma canne. Elle était là. I explained to the guys what happened last night, but judging from their reaction. I don't think it's the first time they've dealt with a bear. We head out to try and catch a giant laker. But first, we're gonna check Andre's bait trap. If there's something on that line, it's going to be huge. The size of the bait is like this. Oh, 
tiré, il y en a un. Il y en a un Il y en a un, il y en a un. Il est fort, il est fort. I really want to help André, but there's nothing I can do. The fish is so powerful, he can't hold on to the line. It's still on, the tree's moving. We turn around, and André grabs the line again. That's enormous. Man, it must be a really big fish. Ça a lâché Ah, il l'a perdu. Non, ça devait être énorme. Et la pas que t'avais mis, il était comme ça. Bah oui, je suis très amoureux, madame. Ah, ça c'était le, ça c'était le monstre qu'on cherche. Ouais. I'm just as frustrated as Andre right now. It must have been huge. That's pas grave. Now. I guess it's time to go back to my rod and reel. We keep trolling in the area. But two hours go by without a single bite. And I'm starting to lose hope. At first, it looked promising. I caught a laker. All right, lake char. And Andre even held on to a monster one, but we lost it. At least, I know they're here. But these lakes are so big that the fish could be anywhere. So it's time to try another spot. I'm on my way to another lake, where I've heard stories of massive fish. It's incredible, the amount of water here. It's one gigantic lake after another, as far as the eye can see. Before I head out on the lake, I want to speak with a couple of elders who have spent their lives here. But these fish, they do what size? In my opinion, a fish that size could only be a sturgeon, but they are not found in this area. However, they are giant lakers. The big fish, there are many everywhere, but they are very, very small. They tell me that in their culture, Inus consider Big Lake Char as intelligent as the eagle. So the grise would be as intelligent as the eagle. So it's very difficult to capture. Thank you very much. It's me who thank you. Thank you very much for your attention. Their son Daniel, who grew up on this lake, knows all the good spots for Big Lakers. Daniel? Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Cyril, moi. Quoi, quoi, il nous dit à bonne. Alors, on va prendre des, des grosses grises. Gros, gros gourmets. 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 <rire> C'est parti. There's no win at all. Ideal conditions to fish the depths where Monster Lake Char lurk. I'm using a pretty heavy lure because those fish, they like the cold water. So they're, they're gonna be very deep in about 60, 70, 80 feet of water. So what I do is I cast it out and let it sink all the way down to the bottom. Down, 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 down. And here I am. If I close the bill and then make it move up and down, up, down, up, down, until boom, he gets bit.
That's a nice fish. Hmm? That's a good one. That must be the fish I'm looking for. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. I think this is the fish I'm after. I really think this is it. No! 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 Oh. Oh, I'm okay, huh? That's the big fish I wanted. You see how bent that rod was? That's fishing. You know, you lose some big fish, it's part of the game, you know? That's what keeps you coming back. Let's stay in class with you. Oh, yeah. That's a big wall, huh? Look, the bubbles, as they come up, the, the water come, sometimes they release the, the air that they have, the excess air they have in the swim ladder. That tells me right, he was right there. I saw it, got off. That's really disappointing. But now I know for a fact there are monsters down there. So I rig another bait and send it right back down. Here we go. Oh, yes. Good fish. Good fish. Good fish. Yeah, this is a big fish for sure. Lentement, mais sûrement. Exactement. It's a long way to the surface when you're in 80 feet of water. It's a big fish. I'm in for a fight. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Big head shakes. I stopped it. And start getting some line back. I see the bubbles. It's right there. Yeah, it's a big fish. To make sure I don't lose it, Daniel grabs the net. Well, yes. Why, I bet it's Bien joué, Daniel. That's starting to be a nice laker. Beautiful fish. And imagine those fish, they can get up to 100 pounds. That's about 20 pounds of fish right there. That means five times the size of this fish. A true predator from the north. Okay. Straight back down to where it lives. Merci, mon ami. What? Super. Good ball. Super. What? <laughs> ah, c'est cool. Ça fait du bien de prendre du poisson. What? I spend the rest of the afternoon looking for that monster fish. And I keep catching it. <laughs> but, no giant. I can never get enough of catching such beautiful fish. Got some really nice fish today. But is there really a monster out there like the elders have been telling me about? It's time to try one last spot further west. I'm headed to Cree Lake in northern Saskatchewan. It's known for its enormous lakers. Adam knows Cree Lake like the back of his hand, and seems confident that we'll catch the monster fish I'm after. We head straight for one of his favorite spots, an underwater drop-off by some deep cold water. This time, we've got a sonar, which gives us a good indication of what's below the boat. Marking like a big cloud of bait fish right below us here. Yeah, dropping. Dropping indeed, 100 feet straight down.
Come on, fish. We're gonna jig up a big fish. Yeah, you feel it? Oh yeah. Marks all over the map. There's definitely monsters in this water. The key is to just keep working that bait until you get that massive strike. I'm working on it, man. I've been chasing this monster bite that you're talking about for a long time, man. <laughs> I just missed one. He was a nice hit. Good bite, good bite. Oh, yeah. This is it. Man, Adam, that's a big fish. Oh, that's a big, that's a big fish, Cyril. I think that's it, that's it. We got it. Oh, man. Oh, look at him take line. I think that might be the monster fish I've been chasing all this time, man. <laughs> That's a big fish. Look at this. Oh, this is a big fish. It is. <laughs> uh, it's touching bottom right now. I don't like that, though. I don't like that. This rock, I'm done. Yeah, just take your time. That thing is a tank, man. It's a, it's a giant, huh? Oh, man, this thing is humongous. That thing is spool and drag and suck in the bottom. Like, that is a big, big fish. This is awesome. Oh, head shake, head shake, head shake. Big head shake. Oh, yes. OK, getting line. I don't want to jinx it right now. I'm just not saying anything, but I think we're close to it. It's coming up. Uh, what a fight. I think it's coming up now. It's coming up. Might want to grab the net. Oh, Adam's coming up. That is a big, big fish. That's a monster. Look at the size of that thing. Oh, yes! Yeah! Here we go! <laughs> Look at the size of that fish! That's yeah, buddy! Yes! Oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Look at the size of this trout. That's exactly what I've been looking for. Look at, look at this fish. Unreal. It's a monster. It's got to be 60 pounds, and they get even bigger than this. Can you imagine? That's the kind of fish that can break lines and rip nets. That's a giant. Thank you so much, Adam. That is a beautiful one. That's a monster fish. <laughs> I'm so happy right now. That's exactly what I've been chasing this whole time. That thing was a tank, man. That was a big fish. Over 60, right? Oh, it's, it pushed in 60 pounds easily. That thing was a giant. <laughs> That's all yes. thanks to you, man. Yeah. Good job, Good. Cyril. Oh, one of the best days of my life right now. I finally caught the monster liquor I've been searching for. I traveled hundreds of miles across northern Canada in search of this legendary monster. We came close to catching one with Andre. But we lost it. I also had one on the line. No, no. But it got off. I got some really nice fish. And finally got the monster I wanted. That's the kind of fish that can break lines and rip nets.